Good morning. Appreciate y'all being here. Um, over the past several years, the General Assembly has uh, engaged in a substantial rewrite of, of our tax code. And uh, a lot of uh, what we've done has uh, been responsible for a lot of the good news that we're hearing in the economy. Uh, we, we understand that uh, the more money we leave in the hands and in the pockets of people around the state, uh, the better it is for them and the better it is for the economy of uh, North Carolina. Uh, our finance chairs are here today to announce uh, just the next step in uh, moving North Carolina forward and uh, in allowing the people of North Carolina to keep more of their hard-earned money. So uh, I'll turn it over to Senator Tucker and he'll explain what, uh, what the proposal is. Thank you, sir, and uh, thank you, uh, members of the press. Uh, I want to introduce my co-chairs first before I get started, uh, Senator Andrew Brock and Senator Jerry Tillman. And what we're proposing today is a Senate tax plan that con continues the majority party's proven strategy of reducing taxes and putting more money into the pockets of North Carolina taxpayers. What we're doing today, we're proposing a billion-dollar middle-class tax cut. That's right a billion dollar middle class tax cut. And under this plan, 99% of all individual income taxpayers in North Carolina will either receive a tax cut or pay zero income tax. Uh, the plan will decrease the personal income tax from 5.499 to 5.35, and that will be one of the lowest in the Southeast and it will help working families and small business, all those S-Corps who file and have to pay personal income tax. Furthermore, this plan increases the standard deduction from 17500 currently to $20,000 for married filing a joint return, which provides an additional significant tax reduction for all North Carolina families and small businesses when coupled with the rate decrease. So um, we have created roughly 535,000 jobs uh, over the last couple of years um, with this continued plan, and we expect the economy to continue to move forward as having reduced uh, taxes in the past. It will increase the cap on the itemized deduction for mortgage interest and property taxes by $2,000. It increases it from twenty to $22,000. Uh, it will eliminate the unfairness of the marriage penalty that currently exists in the mortgage interest and property tax itemized deduction by adjusting the maximum cap based on taxpayers' filing average. It also um, allows for unlimited medical expense deductions and also unlimited charitable deductions. Um, it also will help North Carolina families with children by replacing the much talked about child tax credit with a new and larger child tax deduction ranging from $2,500 to $500. And again, this tax cut proposal would impact those families that are making $50,000 or less. Um, those are the changes that impact the families. Um, now we'll talk about business tax changes. We have seen a growth in business and growth in jobs in the North Carolina economy despite this cloud everybody says is hanging over our head. Uh, the North Carolina economy continues to grow. So we want to encourage new investment by North Carolina businesses
by reducing the corporate income tax rate over two years from 3% to 2.75 in the first year and the following year to uh, in 19 to reduce it to 2.5 and that will make North Carolina's rate the lowest in the U.S. for those states who have a corporate income tax. Uh, again, this plan continues to focus on those who are making less than $50,000 a year. It will provide an additional incentive to small business by reducing the franchise tax on S-Corps. Uh, those S-Corps with less than a million dollars in net worth will be treated like an LLC. And uh, it will, we will charge a uh, flat fee of $200, which would be roughly a $1,300 tax benefit to any S-Corp with a million dollars or less in net worth. And also, too, we are uh, going to incorporate market-based sourcing. We want to capitalize on the already enacted single sales factor apportionment tax incentive by providing the same incentive to multi-state service companies with large investments in workers and property in North Carolina. Market-based sourcing will calculate North Carolina income tax based on where the service company's customers are located. Once again, a billion dollars in tax cut. In the press release, you'll find a map that substantiates by county the tax reduction as a whole based on median income throughout the state. That will be available to you online. But this is by far the best tax cut package that I've seen. And my co-chairs and I and staff worked through 13 or 14 different scenarios to try to get that. But again, 99% of the people receive a tax cut or pay zero tax. So uh, we'll take questions now. Yes, sir, Mr. Bink. Yes, sir. We have uh, circled back around with the appropriation chairs before we came to you to release this, and we'll be able to meet those commitments that uh, previously have been made. Uh, the core responsibilities and services of the state will be met. Uh, the increases that were promised to the uh, teachers um, by... Well, some of that uh, will be taken care of through market-based sourcing. However, the governor made in the statement in his state of the state address that he wanted to reach common ground with the legislature. And one of the things I heard was he wanted to put money back into North Carolinians' pockets. And we agree with him, and we want to do it now with this tax cut. As far as a corporate tax cut goes, I don't think you can argue with the philosophy and the strategy of reducing corporate tax because we're seeing corporations come here. You talk to the Commerce Department. Their uh, quiver is full of leads for new companies who want to come into North Carolina because of, uh, as stated by Forbes magazine, uh, number two best state in the country to do business in. And it's because of the tax environment we've created over the last six years. Yes, sir. Um, I, I don't really know how to respond to that question. I guess, uh, you know, it, we reduced from 6.9 to 3, and then we are reducing it a quarter of a percent over two years. So um, that just, uh, in my mind, just reduces the corporate tax burden. Can you explain a little bit about the market based sourcing and the Sure. Um, what that does do is, is we uh, incorporate it and phase in the single sales factor to help those manufacturing companies that were here in North Carolina already. And so what the market-based sourcing does is it will calculate the North Carolina income tax based on where the service of the companies is. So this is making a level playing field for manufacturing and service through market-based sourcing where the customers are in North Carolina and the income that is received from them will be taxed. Yes, ma'am. You say a billion dollar tax cut. Is that a billion dollars over two years or a billion 
billion dollars a billion dollars through 2019. Well, I don't think it's reduced the capacity for us to uh, reach a budget surplus that we have now. Uh, the people have sent us additional money, and now is the time not to be timid. We need to give that money back to those taxpayers, which will go directly into the economy, which will uh, grow the sales tax base, which will grow the personal income tax base, and uh, give people the opportunity to spend their own money versus the state spending it for them. Sure, go ahead. That's, yes, sir. That's, that's the same thing we've heard every year when we propose reducing taxes. That, uh, uh, And so I, I think our experience uh, shows that that's just not so. Uh, we have put more money in education than has ever been put uh, before. Uh, we've uh, actually put more money in, uh, in transportation infrastructure than has ever been before. Uh, through the Connect North Carolina bond uh, package, uh, we, we were able to deal with uh, a number of infrastructure issues. I mean, ultimately, what we're talking about is growing the pie, uh, allowing the economy to grow. Uh, and, uh, I mean, the, 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 the really interesting thing about that is uh, the, uh, the tax collections have actually gone up as we've reduced tax rates. And uh, this is a proven strategy, and it's just a continuation of what we've been doing over the past several years. What he said. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, when, when this comes to the budget time, do you anticipate any of the income tax cuts will be offset by changes to the sales tax, or do you anticipate the sales tax, tax will not be uh, changed all this year? Uh, I don't anticipate the sales tax being broadened, the sales tax base being broadened in this year. Is that your question? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Behind you. Yes, sir. No, sir. Don't see any fee increases. Again, the folks have uh, sent us an ample amount of revenue, and we're just trying to give it back to the folks and let them spend it the best way they can. Yes, sir. Um, I, I've spoken to them. Um, they put out their own tax package, as you're aware of, this weekend. And that tax package has merit in many things we agree with. Um, we've talked to them about it. I assume that there will be continued negotiations. But this is a financially stable tax cut where the state will be able to meet its core responsibilities. Yes, sir, Mark. Tax brackets that, that, that see the the income scale is probably from the uh, low wealth inc uh, low wealth earner and up to about fifty thousand dollars is where most of the tax cuts uh, in this plan are for. Uh, I think uh, one percent that doesn't receive it are probably um, I'm sure uh, the high income earners that that do not receive that. As you look at the map after the uh, press conference, you'll be able to see statewide what all the income tax uh, reductions are based on median income. Bertie County, for instance, is at 38%. Wake is 6% because of the median income change, 30,000 versus 67,000 is median income. So the differentiation is there. And so if you, as you look at the map, you'll see that uh, most of the tax increase and most of the money will be spent in the rural counties. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Yeah, yes, sir. Any other questions? Sorry. Yes, sir. Can you talk about this child uh, tax deduction? I'm just reading here. Are you getting rid of the credit and replacing it with a deduction? And how would that fare? We know deduction. As I understand it, the child tax credit is non-refundable, so that's a, a big issue there. The tax deduction makes it refundable in your taxes. Um, we uh, It's a graduated between the uh, individual who pays the taxes, which you know probably isn't 
people in the $25,000 or less range 